Hello, this is John Davis. Hello, Dr. Davis. This is Shannon Moore in genetics returning your call. Is this a good time? Yes, great. Uh, so you said you had a patient you wanted to run past me. Yes, this is a new patient I saw recently. I think she has a suspicious family history, but want to check to see if this is someone I should refer. Sure. So she's a healthy 35-year-old female, no significant health problems or history. Her father had colon cancer at 61, a paternal grandmother in her 50s, and now a cousin on the same side of the family has endometrial cancer, just diagnosed at 42. Do you know what the cousin's relationship is to your patient? Through her dad's brother. He died in a car accident in his early 40s, but no known cancer diagnosis. And is there any other cancer in the paternal history? Any GI or ovarian cancer? No other cancers. And are there any other relatives on this side of the family? Yes. She has a 63-year-old aunt without cancer, nothing to report on the paternal grandfather, and she has a sister, no health problems, and a son, also healthy. Do you know if anyone in the family has ever had a genetic evaluation or if the father's colon tumor was ever tested? Not that she mentioned, but I don't think I specifically asked. So we really are dealing with a family history here. And I would agree with you that it is concerning seeing both endometrial and colon cancer in the same family with a possibility of an autosomal dominant inheritance pattern is suggestive of Lynch syndrome. Lynch syndrome. So this family would absolutely be appropriate for a genetic evaluation. If this is Lynch syndrome, then your patient has a 50% chance of having inherited it along with an elevated risk of developing Lynch-related cancers. Okay, I will explain this to her and refer her to you. Since your patient hasn't developed cancers herself, it might be better to begin by testing an affected individual. Genetic testing is more informative in someone who has had cancer. Do you think her father or the cousin would be willing to come in or would come in with your patient for dual appointments? The father is deceased and her cousin lives out of state, so I'm not sure. In that case, my recommendation would be that she talk with her own medical team about getting a genetic referral. And in the meanwhile, I'd be happy to meet with your patient to start the evaluation process for her and to explain about the testing for Lynch syndrome. And that way we'd be ready to go when we hear back from the cousin. And if there are any problems in getting testing for her cousin, we can move forward in talking about the benefits and limitations of testing your patient directly. That would be great, and she'd appreciate it very much. She's quite concerned about her own risk. Sounds like we have a good plan here. Great. Thanks for your time today.